Allen Bar, and I'm here at Big Sky Resort with Hillary Allen, who finished second today in the 2015 Rut 50K. Yay! Holla! Hey! <laughs> second! Yeah. So, I thought you were going to run 20 to 30 minutes faster than you did last year. You ran 30 minutes faster than last year. Yes! Like, what? actually a little bit more, like 30 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh, no, I was counting. <laughs> Well, now that you are, I am too. <laughs> so, did it feel like you were running a heck ton faster? Um, no. Um, I don't know though. I felt like crap at the beginning. Like my legs felt super heavy. It was really cold, so that was yeah. probably it. So it's a 6 a.m. start. It's yeah. dark. It was like it was 25 below degrees. Below freezing. Yeah. yeah. It's probably lower than that. I mean, especially because we started climbing, so it's probably like low 20s, I would say. Because yeah. It was cold, and I mean, of course, like, I don't want to be, like, impeded with, like, pants, and I always get so hot, so I was running in, like, shorts, and, yeah, so my legs that probably didn't help, but I don't know, like, I just, I didn't feel that good. Actually, I mean, I don't like to admit this, but, like, probably three, like, at least three times it crossed my mind before I even hit the 10-mile mark of, like, like, oh my god, like, I feel like dropping. Like, I don't you know? want to do this. Today. I don't want to do this. Like, and I wasn't having fun. And I'm just like, okay. Like, I was trying to look at the beautiful sunrise and all this kind of stuff, but it did not start off well. <laughs> so we saw you at mile five, and you were just tucked in with the lead pack of girls. Yeah. It was like a big group of girls mm -hmm. just sauntering along. Yeah. And at mile eleven, you were pretty much together, like within a short period of time, but yeah. strung out a teensy bit. Yeah. When did you start feeling better? <laughs> um. <sighs> I don't think it was until, yeah, because I mean, I don't usually start off super fast. I don't know if that's just me, but, um, or just like a mental thing. I just need a little bit of time to warm up. And so like, those girls are definitely going out faster. And I was like, I'm not gonna expend more energy just yeah. to run like five to 10 seconds fast. Like, it wasn't worth it. So um, I just kind of let them go. Like I was pretty close to them, but then um, I think it wasn't until like mile 18. Okay. Or like once I, like, once I started the headwaters climb, like I, I got into it more. So I was like, okay, like power hiking. I was like, kind of passing people, and that's usually more my strength that I knew I could probably. And I saw Anna May or some people, and they're pretty close at okay. that point. Um, and then my foot gave me a pep talk at mile 18. So I was just like, I could feel crap. Like my legs hurt. He's like, don't worry, Hill. Like just walk this next climb. I mean, I wasn't gonna run it. Um, I mean, I ran some of the flats on the ridge. So was this at the um, the Sweetwater or sw Swift? Swift. Swift current. Swift current. Swift current. Yeah, that's it. Swift current. Swift, Swift current. Lift. Aid station. Yeah, yeah. He so was there. He pepped off to you. Yeah. Okay. He's like, hell, like they'll wake back up. Like, don't worry. You know, and I think, and sometimes I just need like a little bit of tough love, like a kick in the ass. To, <laughs> well, I don't know if I can say that here, but um, you sure can. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So kicking the ass for him, and uh, just kind of like got me a little bit jazz, and just like kind of out of my own head. Um, I was definitely just like. I was just letting like outside things like not you know bother me and it's that's usually not me and I was like okay Hill you need to be having fun and then as soon as I kind of just got out of my own head and was just enjoying the scenery and just like I'm in Montana like it's still a good day regardless of where I finish like I don't know, I think, it just started turning around, so. I think your experience isn't uncommon. Like, a lot of people, like, start getting, you know, if you're not feeling that great, you kind of start getting into a mental space and there's a cyclical thing. Yeah. Oh, what, yeah. What were you, what outside thoughts were you letting get in, and then how were you able to get them out again? <laughs> um, so, just at the start, like, just not feeling great, okay. and um, just kind of being like, ah, oh, like, why, why is this happening, and just, you know, how to, I mean, besides for the racing, I've been, like, adventuring a lot, and so, I mean, that's obviously why and then yeah. um, my stomach wasn't the best and I think um, that was just I think it was a result of maybe the cold or something like okay. this but um, so it was that and then I was just letting um, I really wanted to try to podium and you know just do like do better because I knew the course and that always is better for you know running a smarter race and so I was just kind of upset I was just like I was just letting the fact that I was, you know, that I was a little bit was not in back. a podium position. Yet, yeah, so. right. And like yeah. then I was just like, hell, like this, you know, it doesn't matter because get over it. Yeah, kind of like that. Like I was just kind of you're being silly because it's so early in the race. Like yeah. don't let that bother you. Yeah. And as soon as I kind of, you know, acknowledge that that was just a silly thought. I mean, it's an ultra. A lot can happen, you know. Yeah. And so, and I know myself that I like to finish stronger, and I typically have. The, like I typically try to have yeah. a second half of the race it's a bit yeah. stronger and that's when you know the, my bread and butter like the climbing and like the technical descending so I knew I was gonna have fun with that 
but yeah, I was just, yeah, as soon as I dismissed that silly thought, it was, better. It was way better. Um, so the Swift Current Aid Station, locals call it Swifty. Swifty, yeah. I think leaving Swifty, you were in fourth place going up the long climb to Lone Peak. Yeah, so Anna Mae and I were like really, really close, so, oh, ha, huh. so before that, oh, ha, huh. a little course. side note. You got off course. I got off course. Here, along with a couple people? Yeah, so it was so me, what happened? it was me, Anna Mae, and, um, me, Anna Mae, and Ashley. Um, Erba, or I don't know how to Emperor, sorry, I don't know how to say her last name, and then uh, two other guys, okay. and um, yeah, we, I don't know, I think we were just like, we were, we were descending down this road, and then there's a really sharp, like, you know, right hand um, off trail section, Okay. and we were kind of heading down, we saw like a couple paramedics in like a truck, uh -huh. and so I think we're heading down that just way, just towards them, exactly, yeah. and so, um, and then as soon as we like realized it, um, and like turned around, actually anime was going to keep going, I was like, dude, no, we gotta go I back. don't think this is it, yeah, and I was like, I don't think we like backtrack, and so, um, yeah, as soon as we, I don't know, maybe it was like three to five minutes, because then we, we went down the hill, we had to come back up, All the way back up. um, maybe, yeah, so it wasn't, it was not longer than five minutes, okay. but, um, yeah, so that happened, so that maybe, I think that also like helped me a little bit, because I like, that always pisses me off when that happens, <laughs> it's frustrating. So I put a little fire in your belly? Yeah, a little bit, and yeah. so then, so I tried to get after it on the descending, um, and then there's like that uphill section to get into Swift Current. So at that point is where Martina passed me, and like all of us, and so I think at, like Ash, um, I was in third, and then Anime was like right there, and then we were together on that climb up the ridge, okay. Shalone Peak. Okay. And we closed in on Martina. Okay. And then I quickly passed Anime on the first descent, and then I didn't really see Martina, but we were probably I was only probably like a minute back from her. Okay. Um. And yeah. Martina said that you just came charging by her on the last yeah. time, and she just couldn't do anything. Yeah. 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 So, at that point, did you know she was in front of you, or were you just like, ah, uh, like, just screw it, this is the last I time I'm going for it? Well, I, fig I figured, um, yeah, I kept on, like, hearing the words in my head from my friends, just like, like, try hard, like, you know, like, go, like, go, go out there, and like, yeah, like, you know, leave it all out there, or just like, if it's a last climb, like, really push it, you know, because I'm not used to doing that, or I'm just yeah. like, do, 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 like, let's go up the hill. Um, but I actually didn't realize I passed her. In fact, it was, I talked to her. What? I don't, yeah. So I don't, maybe I was just in the zone. Like, I don't know. I thought I, I think I passed her on the descent. I don't know what yeah. happened. But then Greg well, she, saw, she saw you on the last climb. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I didn't see her, so I had no idea. Um, maybe she was in the forest. I think she was having, like, stomach issues. Uh, that's what she said to me. Uh, um, sorry, Martina. <laughs> I had that all day too. Like my stomach was like, Burr. but uh, yeah. So then Greg Valet was like, oh, congrats, Hillary. Like, good job. You're in second. I was like, wait, what? Where did Where did Martina go? Uh -huh. And then I was just like, screw it. Just like keep going. So I was like trying to charge as fast as I could up like the last pretty steep section. Yeah. And then yeah, like on the on the descent. And then I learned that I was like only. I think at that point maybe five, I don't know how far I was behind Emily at that point. I think you were like eight and a half at the top and four or something at the bottom yeah. of the final descent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was cool. And yeah. that was a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Were you um, just trying to push to see how hard you could go, or was that just as comfortable? You were just riding it comfortably, or? Um, I think it was. It definitely wasn't pushing as hard as I could go. Like I wasn't feeling like super springy. I was just trying to push as hard as like my body could let me at that uh -huh. point. <laughs> um, and I just wanted it to be over. So there are definitely some like there's like a little punchy climb like over here before you get the final descent. And um, I was like, okay, you're gonna run it. And I was like, nope. <laughs> so like I mean, you're just, gonna no. I just didn't really have that much left in the tank. So because I wasn't eating very well all day, which is again frustrating. But I did, yeah, I did the best I could. So it was awesome. it was fun though, like to just kind of have a little bit of motivation. I was trying to run as fast yeah. as I could, but I could have gone harder. I'm not as sore as I could could be. But. <laughs> well, so of the men's and women's podium, there's one American on the women's side, one American on the women's side. Really? I didn't even see who won. You the and, and Matt Matt Sh Schreier. Oh yeah, he's a uh, Montana guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, living in Alaska now, but a oh. Montana by birth. Oh. So both of you improved upon your performances from last year. He moved up from 11th to third, improved awesome. by a half hour, and you moved yeah. up from fifth to second, and Yay. also improved by. 30 minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> do you feel like satisfied with what you've done at the rod or do you feel like you can come back and do something a little bit better? Well, yeah, not get off course. Okay. <laughs> so there's always that. There's always that. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think there's always room for improvement. Um, whether that's time or just like a, just mentally, right? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I think that's a huge part of these ultras. Like, I could always feel better and um, potentially that could lead to a better time, but yeah. who knows, like maybe me feeling crappy in the beginning was good so I could get out of that. But, um... It seems to be a theme for you between here well, at least we go. Yeah, these past couple races, I guess it has. Yeah, um, you have a really good race after a bad start. <laughs> but that wasn't the case for Mont Blanc. I don't know about that one. But the study continues. Yes, I know. I'm gathering data. We'll see. <laughs> well, congratulations to you on your second place finish. Thank you. 2015 Rut 50K. Thank you. Signing off. <laughs> Signing off. Signing off. Signing off. Do you drink the alcohol? Yes. All the alcohol. All the alcohol. <laughs>